Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own homemade pop filters to help um, filter out the pop and sibilance while you're recording music. Now, as you can hear, there's a lot of like noise in this recording, and that's because I'm using a headset and I'm not recording music. So, anyways. Um, we'll be using some materials that are super duper cheap and super duper easy and this thing is going to be so simple you are going to be eating cake. So here we go. First we're going to start out with um, embroidery hoops and a little piece of some nylons, preferably the foot part where you cut it out. And then we take the embroidery hoop, which costs about $1.19 at any sewing shop or craft store, and you remove the inner part of the hoop, and then you take your bottom of the foot of the nylons that you cut out, and you stretch them over the top of the inner hoop, and you kind of adjust it, make sure that everything is nice and uniform and smooth and tightly bound. Then you gather the opening end at the bottom and hold it firmly as you take the outer part of the hoop, put it over the top of the inner hoop, and then you screw the clamp down tight to finish the um, filter. And voila, you have a pop filter for less than two dollars as opposed to buying one from the store from anywhere from fifteen to up to thirty forty dollars now for attaching all you really need is like a wire hanger or something of that sort and you can um, feed it through the area where the clamp is down at the bottom and then just twist it however so and then you put a clamp on the bottom and voila, you are good to go. Here's an example of the very first one that I made. It's kind of, um, you know, kind of brick or bracky, but um, it gives you the idea of how I did the attachments. But as you can see, I kind of refined the process to make it easier and more affordable and just simple. I mean, how long is that going to take you? What, two seconds? <laughs> okay, maybe 30 seconds. But yeah, so you feed in um, any sort of type of wire, a wire hanger would probably be just fine. Just feed it through there, get your needle nose plier, and you know, tighten it up nice and good, and then get yourself a clamp and tighten the other end around that. Attach it to your um, microphone stand, and you are ready for action.